So right now, October 20th, at least here, I'm in Australia, if you can tell from my dodgy accent, AWS has had a massive outage. Now, uh, things are looking like uh, recovering from time to time, then things are failing, it's not unknown. But the point is, what do you do when the whole internet sort of works on these services? What do you do when companies around the world, me, me as, a, as a CIO, I've got a lot of my tech on AWS. I've got my tech in Azure, some stuff in Google, and in other SaaS platforms. I've got on-premise stuff as well. But what do you do as a business when you're running a whole bunch of stuff in AWS and then you can't rely on their uptime? You know, they, they sort of guarantee 99.99%. They can never guarantee 100 because of things like this. We are so reliant on the internet. It's insane. So relying on these cloud services that, you know, this is why executives, this is why like IT leaders sort of have these conundrums around, you know, do I put my tech on premise or do I put it in the cloud? Because if it's on premise, then I have control over it. I can control the uptime, right? And all I have to make sure is that the comms rooms stay up, that my power stays up, that my servers are patched, all of that sort of thing. If I'm putting it all, if I, if I put all my eggs in the AWS bucket or in the Azure bucket, and then something like this happens, you're in a bit of trouble, especially if you're running operations that sort of guarantee for these services to be up and running. You know, And I think tomorrow, when a lot of people wake up or in the morning, depending on where you are based, when they wake up and they've experienced, that there's, they've, they've experienced an outage like this, there's always questions that are gonna be asked. Boards, CEOs, executives are gonna ask the questions of like, how could we have prevented this from happening? And in many cases, you can't. You can't prevent this from happening if you're putting all the stuff in a provider such as your big three, your Amazon, your Microsoft, your Google. Like, what are you supposed to do? You can't really do much. And here's the crazy thing is when things like this happen, you sort of wonder, how is it that a company of this size that would have multiple, multiple levels of redundancy and failover, They've got services over services over services, multiple levels, multiple availability zones spread across the interwebs, and they still can go down. It's pretty full on, right? And it really makes you wonder, is the cloud the best place to put everything? And this is why for me, I always go, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna put everything in the cloud because of things like this. Sometimes it's good to keep stuff on premise. But yes, if you keep stuff on premise and you need the support, you need the people, you need to make sure that the resources are there, you're paying for the server, hardware, you're paying for the rack space, you're releasing that maybe through a data center, that may end up costing you more than the cloud. But then when stuff like this happens, you sort of go, I don't know, I don't know what to do. And look, if you're watching this, um, it's just me giving a little bit of a rant. You know, as, as, a, as a IT leader, um, I've experienced stuff like this before, you know, when the crowd strike thing happened uh, about a year and a bit ago, um, that was pretty full on. And this one is another one. And look, from time to time, these, these providers go down. Microsoft goes down, Google goes down. AWS going down is a pretty big deal. And look, I don't, I don't expect the outage to be very, very long, but it always will raise questions around, should I be putting all of my eggs in the cloud basket? Or should I be looking at spreading my infrastructure across different sorts of tech? And sometimes that's a good thing to do. Sometimes it is good to have combinations of some tech in AWS, some tech in Azure, maybe with Google, some stuff on premise, so that if something goes down, you don't lose everything. Imagine the companies that have got everything running in AWS and this, and this thing happens. Imagine banks, financial institutions, hospitals that rely on this stuff. Like this is pretty, pretty big deal. And you know what? There's now gonna be questions. There's gonna be questions asked of Amazon, how did this happen? There's gonna be consequences for Amazon. There's gonna be legal proceedings and battles. Things could have gone really, really badly and things are probably gonna go really, really badly. Over the next few days, you're gonna hear about some of the stuff that was impacted. Even though the outage may not be very long, the impact is very, very great. So there you have it. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on this uh, on the YouTube machine. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.